Hi dear students, welcome to another class of 9th standard physics. In the last class, we discussed about the position time graph or distance time graph. That is, distance is take, takes place on the y-axis and time is marked on the x-axis. Using this distance time graph, we draw different types of graph of motion. That is uniform motion of, of a body in uniform motion and motion of body in non-uniform motion. Uniform speed and uniform velocity and non-uniform velocity. We discussed in the last class. Today we are mainly focused about the the velocity time graph of a body. If a body moves with a velocity, we can represent the motion of this body using this graph. Consider. If a body moves with uniform velocity, how can we represent the motion of this body using this velocity time graph? Imagine this body moves with a uniform velocity of value 40 km per hour. Then how can we represent using velocity time graph? To represent the motion of this body using this graph, velocity time graph, we want to take the time on x-axis here also, like position time graph. Here also we take time on x-axis and velocity along y-axis, like this. Listen here. This is y-axis, this is x-axis and this is y-axis. X, Y, this is origin O. <coughs> okay. Then time marked on the X axis and on the Y axis we marked, we are marking velocity, that is the unit of velocity is meter per second. And here, okay, imagine if the body moves with if you represent the velocity here, time is here. Okay. Then, for example, 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, for example, for 5 second, 10 second, then 15 second, then 20 second, like that. Okay. Uh, 25 second. Then what is the scale of x-axis? Scale of x-axis means scale x-axis 1 centimeter gives how much 1 centimeter? 5 second. Okay. All the 1 centimeter gives 5 second. Then if you take on the y-axis the scale 10 meter per second 20 meter per second 30 meter per second, 40 meter per second, 50 meter per second. Okay, then what is the scale of y axis? Y axis 1 centimeter gives 10 meter per second. Okay, and that is the scale of this graph. Then, if this body moves with a uniform velocity, if you take the value, for example, if the value of uniform velocity of this body is taken as 40 meter per second, imagine. Then, in all the time, we know that what is uniform velocity, if the body moves with uniform velocity means, it covers equal distances in equal interval of time in a straight line. That means the value, if you observe the speed of meter of a car which is moves with the uniform velocity means the speed of meter odometer shows equal value of velocity. 
same value throughout in every time the value is same for the velocity if you observe the speedometer the val value of speedometer will be same that is uniform velocity or uniform speed and here means 40 meter per second means in 5 second the velocity is 40 meter per second first of all first, sorry if you start from 0 second it is starting from 0 second the value of body is 40 meter per second value of velocity of body is 40 meter per second after 5 second the velocity is 40 meter per second velocity is 40 meter per second and after 10 second the velocity is same 40 meter per second and after 15 second velocity is no change because it is uniform velocity okay after 20 second the velocity is 40 meter per second after 21 second it is same that means if we join in these points we get a straight line but it is parallel to x axis this is a straight line graph which is parallel to x axis this is the graph of a body which moves with a uniform velocity uniform velocity okay and this is the graphical representation of a velocity time graph of a moving a body moving with a uniform velocity or uniform speed then how can we find out the distance traveled or displacement traveled by this body at a particular time interval between a particular time interval how much distance is traveled by this car or body <coughs> how can we find out for example we want to find out the what is distance traveled by this body between 5 and 20 second between 5 second and 20 second we want to find out how much distance traveled by this body how can we find out means we draw a perpendicular line to the graph from 5 second and 20 second first you have to draw perpendicular line to this graph like this okay and we get one of the shape here it is a rectangle it is a shape of rectangle then we can be represented by letter this a b c d okay we can represent this rectangle with these letters a b c d then how can we find out the distance or displacement traveled by this body between this time interval 5 and 20 second we know that the equation of displacement what is equation of displacement displacement what is equation of velocity from that we get equation of displacement what is equation of velocity velocity is equal to displacement by time isn't it then what is equation of displacement here displacement is equal to or distance okay in the case of a body move with them moving in a along a straight line displacement and distance are equal okay then if displacement is equal to what is equation velocity into time velocity into time here from this equation we understood that what is that if you want to find your displacement we want to multiply the quantity of velocity with the time we want to multiply the quantity of velocity with the time from this graph we know that from d to c this length in the graph that is represent the time interval of the body traveled okay this is the time interval that the body is traveled that is dc the length dc is the time interval okay this is the time dc is the time okay into what is the velocity in this time interval means here in 5 second velocity is 40 meter per second that means the length ad is the height of this graph in the y axis the height of this graph represent the velocity at this time interval 5 second that is 40 meter per second and in 20 second this is also velocity same that is 40 meter per second that means this height 
that is 40 meter per second represent the velocity of this body in this time intervals that means velocity is equal to what is velocity ad ad into dc that is velocity okay that is s displacement is represented by letter s okay then s equal to ad into dc then what is ad into dc ad into dc in the case of a rectangle what is ad into dc this is the area of the rectangle suspended by this graph graph okay what is ad into dc means that is the area of this rectangle that is suspended by this graph between this time interval 5 second and 20 second between this given time interval okay that means what you understood from this we can conclude that if you want to find out the displacement or distance traveled by a body between a particular time interval from the velocity time graph find out displacement or distance from the velocity time graph for that we want to find out the area of shape area of shape that produced under the graph between this time interval that is equal to area of graph that is equal to area of graph produced in velocity time graph between this time interval that will be equal to the distance traveled by this body or displacement traveled by this body in this time interval what is that if you want to find out the dis distance traveled by a body between these two time interval between these two given particular time interval to find out the distance we want to calculate the area producer area that is subtended by the area subtended by this body between this time interval this area will be equal to the value of area will be is equal to magnitude of the displacement covered by this body between this time interval that is equal to this, this displacement is equal to area covered by this graph that is maybe equal to displacement this is a method to find out displacement or distance covered by body in velocity time graph okay understood do you understand okay here we discuss that the velocity time graph of a body that moves with a uniform velocity that is the graph that is will be uh, straight line and which is parallel to x axis that is the graph of a body velocity time graph of a body which moves with a uniform velocity but in other case we know that some situations the body is moves with a uniform acceleration that means the velocity increases equal amount in equal interval of time that is uniform acceleration what is uniform acceleration if the velocity of a body increases with equal rate that means it increases equal amount of velocity in equal interval of time that type of motion is known as uniform accelerated motion or the body moves with a uniform acceleration if the velocity for example if we uh, drop a stone from a height the motion of this the freely falling motion of this stone is represented uniform accelerated motion because the velocity starting from the height is zero then if we start the motion then velocity increases with equal rates equal amount in equal interval of time in the case of a free falling body that is the velocity that is uniform accelerated motion if you represent uniformly accelerated motion using velocity time graph how can we represent how what is the shape of that graph that is we are going to discuss now okay then the graph is not like this if the velocity time graph of uniformly accelerated motion that is not like this which is not like uniform velocity how this the how is the motion to draw that 
you observe what is tabless given in your textbook that is a car moves with a uniform acceleration for example the value is given the time interval what is the time that is 0 5 second 10 second 15 second 20 second then 25 second 30 second that is the values given in the table and velocity is of car that is given in meter per second and kilometer per hour also if we denote in meter per second 0 9 18 27 36 45 and 54 that is the value of velocity of the score in increasing that is uh, in different time interval that is given in the table then what do you understood from this table is the velocity is uniform is this uniform velocity no the velocity increases in equal amount in equal interval of time that is the value is given in the table for example listen here in the table listen in the table that is 0 the next velocity is 9 then 18 27 36 45 54 then how is the increasing of velocities happen here velocity increases in equal amount in unequal interval of time that is uniform accelerated motion that is uniformly accelerated motion that means here 9 value of velocity increases in equal interval of time 9 increases 9 9 9 0 then 9 plus 9 is equal to 18 plus 9 is equal to 27 plus 9 is 36 45 like that that means velocity increases equal amount in equal interval of time that is the dust type of motion is known as uniformly accelerated motion or uniform acceleration okay if a car moves with a uniform acceleration means the velocity increases gradually in equal amount in equal interval of time and how can we draw this graph using velocity time graph for that we want to or represent this graph like this listen here using this table we can draw this graph like this on x axis we take, take as time that is 5 second 10 second 15 second 20 second 25 second 30 second and on the y axis we take as velocity 9 18 27 36 45 54 meter per second then what is the scale of this graph scale how can we represent scale x axis 1 centimeter gives what is 1 centimeter here x axis 1 centimeter 5 second then what is scale of y axis that is y axis 1 centimeter gives here difference is 9 that means 9 meter per second ok then how can we draw the graph of velocity time graph of this of body of motion of this car that means in 5 0 second the velocity of a car is also 0 then in 5 second velocity of car become 9 meter per second then in the 10 in the 10 second velocity become 18 meter per second in 15 second it is become 27 then 20 then it is become 36 then 25 this become 45 then up to 30 second the velocity become 54 okay if we joining this line that we get a straight line graph like this a straight line graph with a slope with a inclined graph that is straight line graph like this this is a graph of a body that moves with uniform acceleration this is a velocity time graph of a body that moves with the uniform acceleration because in equal interval of time velocity increases with equal uh, amount velocity increases in equal rate that is uniform acceleration and in this case how can we find out like in uniform uh, velocity motion we find out the distance traveled by body between a uh, specific time interval and here how can we find out the displacement or distance travel by this body at a particular time interval how can we find out for example we want to find out the velocity sorry uh, distance travel by this body 
between 10 and 25 seconds. For that, we want to draw one perpendicular line to this graph like this. And here, in the case of 20, 25, from the 25 seconds, we also draw a perpendicular line like this. Okay. And what is the shape of geometrical shape that obtained below the graph? And this is shape of this is, is a trapezium. It is a trapezium. Then how can we find out distance travel by this body at the particular time interval? It's the first time is taken as T1 and here is T2. Okay. Then what is the distance travel? How can we find out? We learned that if you find out the area subtended by this graph between this time interval, this is the area. Okay. Subtended by the area of trapezium, that is the area of, of uh, this graph. And if you find out the area of trapezium, that will be equal to, numerically equal to, magnitude of the displacement or distance travelled by this body. That is, distance travelled by this body, that will be is equal to area that produced in this graph between this time interval then how can we find out the area of this shape, geometrical shape? We want to change like this. If we draw, imagine uh, if we uh, given some values at the point here, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Then if you draw one of the line which is parallel to B, C here from A, like this and it is denoted by letter E then we know that here A B C E here A B C E is a rectangle and here A E D is a triangle and rectangle A B C E and triangle A E D if we find out the total area of the trapezium, we want to find out the uh, area of the rectangle and triangle. If we add the value of area of this rectangle and triangle, we get the value, we get the area of the trapezium, total area of the trapezium. Then how can we find out area? That means area of trapezium a, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is equal to area of triangle A, B, C, E plus area of rectangle A, B, C, E plus area of rectangle, the triangle A, E, D. Then what is the equation of area of the rectangle A, B, C, E? That is here A, B length into breadth. A, B into B, C. Plus, what is the area of triangle? How can you find out the area of triangle? A, E, D. That is the equation of B, H. You know that. Then that means half into. Here B means A, E. Half into A, E into D, E. Half into A, E into D, E. That is the area of trapezium. Then if you find out this value using this equation, that will be equal to the magnitude of the displacement traveled by this body between this time interval. That means S is equal to, S is displacement or distance. AP into BC plus half into AE into DE. And this is the uh, value of area that traveled, uh, that is the, that produced by this uh, graph between this time interval T1 and T2, that means between 20 and 25 seconds. And if you find out this area, it will be equal to the value magnitude of the displacement or distance traveled by this body between this time interval T1 and T2. Do you understand?
yes from this graph we understood one of the thing that is if we consider the initial time is t1 and final time is t2 between this time interval t1 and t2 what is the initial velocity of this car initial velocity means the initial velocity time what is the velocity of this car at the time t1 that means in 10 second what is the velocity and this value the height of this value this is the velocity that is a b is the velocity okay and it can be represented by letter u initial velocity can be represented by letter u that is a b here a b is the initial velocity this is u is the initial velocity then what is the final velocity velocity at the time of t2 that is final velocity this height is final velocity what is the value that is 45 here and if we represent like a cd cd is the final velocity that p represent by letter v that means v that is cd that is final velocity then what is the time interval t1 t2 minus t1 that is t that here bc is the time interval bc is the time interval t1 minus t2 minus t1 that that can be represented by t time interval that is bc here okay and if you substitute this value in this equation then what will be get the how can we find out the area of trapezium using this value means if we rearrange this equation like this we get s is equal to half half bc into ab ab plus cd this is the general equation to find out the area of trapezium half bc half bc into ab plus cd this is the equation to find out the area of a trapezium then if you substitute this value what is the equation s is equal to displacement is equal to half what is bc t half bc is equal to t into ab is equal to u and cd is equal to v u plus v and this is the equation to find out half t u plus v that is the equation to find out area of a board area of trapezium from velocity time graph and his t is the time interval and u is the initial velocity ab is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity value and if we substitute this value we can find out the displacement of t into u plus v okay simply we can explain that using velocity time graph of a body with uniform acceleration means it is a straight line okay with a slope it is a straight line graph if a body moves moves with a uniform acceleration in velocity time graph then how can we find out the displacement or distance traveled by this body between this time interval t1 and t2 means that means if you find out the area suspended by this body under the graph between the time interval t1 and t2 that area will be is equal to displacement or distance traveled by this body then here is area in the case of a, a uniformly accelerated body the area is, is is the area of trapezium area of trapezium area of trapezium then what is equation of area of trapezium means area of trapezium means that is if the it is the length th imagine this length th and is the length b and is the length a and here is the length b then what is equation of find out area of trapezium means half h a plus b this is a mathematical equation to find out area of trapezium using that we can interchange the value of a using our letters of motion here area means area of trapezium means area of trapezium that is equal to half here h is equal to what is t1 h is equal to time interval t2 minus t1 that is t 
that is T and what is A here? A is this length is A. That is initial velocity. Okay. Velocity at the time T1 that is initial velocity. That is U plus and what is uh, B? B is the final velocity here. V. That is uh, the velocity at the time T2 that is final velocity. That is V. That is V. And this area will be is equal to displacement or distance. That half T U plus V. This is the equation to find out displacement travel, distance travel by a body. Then that's equal to area of trapezium in uniform accelerated motion from a velocity time graph. Do you understand? Here I said that the shape of graph of a body that moves with the uniform acceleration will be straight line. In the case of velocity time graph, the velocity time graph of a body that moves with uniform acceleration will be straight line graph. But in the case of non-uniform acceleration, what will be the shape of this graph? If a body moves non-uniform acceleration, then what is the shape of velocity time graph? It will be in different shapes. For example, if a body moves with non-uniform velocity, so no, sorry, non-uniform acceleration, then that is example for this is another example for uh, that body moves with a non-uniform acceleration and another example for another shape of a graph that body is moved with the here velocity here is velocity and is time and here is time okay this this is the shape of graph of velocity time graph of a body that moves with a non-uniform acceleration non-uniform acceleration that is a graph that is not a straight line which a slope okay that is the example for graph of velocity time graph example for velocity time graph that moves with non-uniform acceleration do you understand